pound, 15 ounce lead. We have unofficially Hunter Shryock ahead of Kyoto. Kyoya Fujita, Drew Benton hanging there, also in the 83 pound range as well. And Patrick Walters, Bernie Schultz, also over 80 pounds. A tight, tight top of this leaderboard that's only fitting for this great, great fishery. We have seen so many memorable moments. We, it's hard to remember them all. Absolutely, and, the, and I guess what we need to do now, just to refresh ourselves, just to appreciate what we've seen, is to go into a late edition, Mark Zona, of our Toyota Midday Report. Hey, Tom, would you like a Toyota Midday Report, would you? I would indeed, let me tell you. Well, come get it. Oh, my God, no, Take no. a look at this Toyota. This is so, this is a late day report. This is not a midday report. No, After no, that no. marathon FS1 broadcast earlier today, <laughs> all eyes were on Patrick Walters. Listen to Ronnie Moore talk about it. He was his pick to yeah. win this tournament by the end of the day, and Patrick <laughs> Walters was a really big morning. A oh lot of God, solid nice. quality, kind of a mix of sure. finesse, mix to power in there. Good one right here earlier today. A lot of work was done with the jerk bait. Patrick Walter said the biggest key was to stay around those four to six pounders. Well, he has a pile of three and three go. quarter to four and a half pound fish missing that big anchor. From there, really one of the biggest days we have seen on camera this week. Drew Benton, who has sight fished his way to Championship Sunday, laying it down, getting a little bit of love from Brock Mosley, saying, you better crank them shallow points, dog. Well, he <laughs> did that early. A lot of four-pound fish, very, very shallow water. Yes. Drew Benton getting it done. Have him unofficially nah, right now with 22 pounds and 10 ounces. And Tommy Sanders, I believe we are a little bit light on that weight with Drew Benton. Yeah, including that late six pounder coming in about 1.30 p.m. local time, 2.30 p.m. I, I would say local time. I would 100% expect him to have 24 yes. and some ounces probably today, just about a pound and change light. I don't know if we got it, but we did everything we could do. Showing a lot of resourcefulness, versatility, sort of changing horses in the middle of the stream. Good job, Drew Benton. Yeah, taking a look right here at rookie Koya Fujita. Rookie on the Bassmaster Elite Series, leading coming into Championship Sunday in a very, very slow morning like we got to see yesterday with Fujita. But when that sun kind of gets up, it's almost like that bite really fires for him. Very solid day. Still one bite, though, from taking the lead right now. Currently in second place with unofficially just under 18 pounds. Yeah, I had that to four eight, four and a half pounder around 11 a.m. Followed it up with another four pounder uh, shortly there. No, excuse me, an hour thereafter, and he needs one more to get it done. Man of the hour, Hunter Shryock. Man, oh man, what a day! What a tournament! Yeah, and really, it's been a one-two punch throwing a Berkeley Chapo and a Berkeley General on these docks. The Chapo was on the rip rap earlier this week. And really, all of his fish today has been basically old school dock skipping, anchored by that six to seven pounder that he caught early. But this one right here was during our our break, a huge call for Hunter Shryock. A lot of excitement in that boat today. He may be from Newcomerstown, Ohio, but he's not a newcomer to the Elite Series. Been out here about six years now and really has done his journeyman work. He's put in the hours, he's put in the work, and he's looking to make it all pay off today. Just got to take it home, bring it to the barn. As we get out on the lake and take you down to Kenta Tamura. There you go. It's got to be big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it this one. Yes, that's a big one. Oh, yes. That's the kind of fish I'm fish for. Come on. Come on. Here's a big one. Here's a big one. Oh, yeah. Gotta get this. Yeah, we gotta get this one. Gotta get this one somehow. <laughs> Please stay on. Please stay on. Please. 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 
Yes, sir. Yes. That's that's what I'm fishing for. I know there's air. Pony got started off. I gotta say thanks for whoever <laughs> driving cruiser, <laughs> you know. Wow. Much better. What did I do with the prior? Wow. That's a four. Yeah, that's a four. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, I, mean. I still think we got a chance to win this thing. Right here. Good one right there for yep. Kenta Kimura, living with a jackal riser, a different bait that we have not seen in this I tournament so far. Pound here, they too. Tommy, I can't stress this enough. That that dude right there, it's my guy. Absolutely. That is my guy. I, I fully understand that, man. What not, yep. so, what's not to admire about Kenta oh, Kimura? Yeah. yeah. Got to enjoy a little bit of the nightlife with Kenta Kimura at our Knoxville Classic. All right. Whoa. I got her. Come here. It's a giant. Come here. Yes. Aha. It was bigger than I thought. Well worth it. Wow. It's a chunky one there. We win. We won. Oh, we just need to find like one more of these. That's gonna call a number two, a 210. Ooh, about a six pounder. Number two. Yes. Mm. That was cool. Folks at home, hope y'all enjoyed that. Really am surprised it took as long as it did. Please stay on. This is a big one here. This is a five pounder, I think. Please stay on. It's crazy how on the final day of this event, you can catch 18 plus pounds like Kyoya Fujita, Drew Cook, you know, around that mark and fall in the standings. Like, you know, yeah, this is yeah. your one bad day and it's 18 pounds and you're gonna fall. That is crazy on the final day of an event. Some brutal arithmetic there for sure. No job out there. Real head shakes. Stay down. No. Another one with her the same size. So that's definitely a five pounder here. better it's like bone fishing <laughs> he had two of those yesterday along with a 611 to get up to, to 26 one of what's like he's around them 26 one yesterday all right who wants to go 
Man, oh man. What a day. Uh, I, I don't want this day to end. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I speak for most bass fishing fans. What a day. What a place. Lake Murray and Mark Zona. I, I, at this point, I think I'm, I'm about out of superlatives, to, especially superlatives for this incredible, incredible Lake Murray. Well, I think the, the great thing is, and we got to talk about this at the end of our FS1 broadcast, was really how diverse Lake Murray showed up to be. Uh, there were so many different things happening between spawning fish to fry garters to herring fish, shad fish, boat docking with, with Hunter Shryock. And, and here's the, the other, uh, not that we are rooting in any way against Fujita. I mean, heck, I picked no. them this morning to win this tournament, but it is kind of cool to potentially we are on the cusp of seeing an angler win a tournament not staring at his forward facing <laughs> sonar which it's it's good to get back to normal and we have a prayer of maybe having the same thing happen next week on Santee Cooper but I don't want to get ahead of ourselves no well don't get ahead of ourselves but keeping Santee Cooper in mind Ronnie Moore what strikes you what stands out the most to you uh, the fact that that's going to be a fish catching event big time as well. You're going to have this is the time of the year. If we're going to have an event one without using forward facing sonar, this would be the time of the year that it should thrive. Looking at Santee Cooper, you're going to have fish in the spawning stage. You're going to have fish probably in the post spawn stage, maybe feeding up top water, other baits. There's going to be a lot of baits in play and a lot of fish in that fishable zone up on the bank. They're not just going to be locked on up on the bank. And so it should be a good event, and we've got word that there's a lot more eelgrass, like Mark Zona said a couple days ago, so that could put another factor into this event. Suit you. Uh, writing down the scores, you're keeping keeping track of everything. We had a big, uh, the production did not drop off with half as many players yesterday. What is it like today? Oh, we got about about 20 fish over four pounds, probably some bigger ones, but I I talked to Felicia Shryock, and they uh, had a gender reveal oh. this week, and Murray is a potential name. <laughs> Z's was pretty good. I don't know we if you actually talk, Doc, yeah. we, we don't want to say Doc Rock Chirac would be a potential name too, but I think that's out. All right, that's all spe Murray's better. speculation Murray. at this point, but good good stuff to think about. Hunter Schrock getting closer and closer with every tick of the clock to collecting his first elite trophy. I'd, I'd name that kid Chapo. Uh, uh, <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah, and, and, and Chapo the general. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. General Chapo. Fujita still with a shot at it. Drew Benton right there as well. We're not quite done yet. We got a little bit. We got about, well, 15 minutes more of fishing, less travel time. So that is not much. We're getting close and close to weigh in time, which starts at 3 o'clock right here at Bassmaster.com. Forged from the harshest environments, Dakota lithium batteries are built to endure. Engineered with lithium iron phosphate, they give you twice the runtime at half the weight, last five times longer, and provide exceptional lifetime value. Let's go! Backed by an 11-year warranty, they keep you on the water from sunup to sundown. Go further. Last longer. Play harder.